Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna try to upload as much as I can this week because I'm just been laid off from my job because of the coronavirus, and I've been laid out of school. <laughs> but I got Samara here with me. You know she's my girl. She's my co-host. Yeah, we got some over here, and, and a girl was hanging right here. She's just one of my few favorite dolls that I got. But today we are gonna talk about the one of the most haunted places in America. And then part two will probably be a video gameplay of a really scary game that I found. And I hope you like it. So we're gonna get to it. You know me, all the scary things. Okay. The, the scary place that I'm going to be talking about today is Waverly Hills Sanatorium. I think it's more like it. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to give you a little brief history. Here is Waverly Hills. Now for all you people who don't know about Waverly Hills Sanatorium, it is in Louisville, Kentucky. Waverly Hills Sanatorium in Louisville, Kentucky is said to be one of the scariest places on earth. It is an abandoned hospital that is haunted by ghosts and shadow people and was investigated by ghost hunters and most haunted. Scary, scary. Here's like, here's a brief picture. When it comes to the print normal, I love it. In part two, the scary game that I'm gonna play is called The House Two. In 1900, Louisville, Kentucky had the highest tuberculosis death rate in the country. Hospitals were needed to care for, for the sick so in 1926. Waverly Hills was constructed and was considered the most advanced tuberculosis hospital in the country. Room 502, they said Room 502 was the most haunted place in the hospital. Treatment of the diseases of those days were primitive at best, meaning that many people simply came to Waverly Hills to die. Wow. That is so freaking scary that I don't even talk about it. Records have been lost. But it is estimated that tens of thousands died of Waverly. At the height of the tuberculosis, tuberculosis, tuberculosis epidemic, it was it is reported that one patient died in an hour. Wow, that is some intense. That's where. If I go to a hospital, I don't want to get cured. I don't want to die. I just want to simply go there and die. That's, that ain't me. I like to go there and investigate it, so. In 502, in Waverly Hills in a term, had a scary reputation. In 1928, the head nurse was found dead in 502. She had hanged herself on the light fixture in a fit of depression. She was 29 years old at the time, unmarried and pregnant. It is unknown just how Oh, she may have been hang left hanging in this room. Before her body was finally discovered, they said that the mental patients continued to walk around ignoring, ignoring her hanging body until the next nurse showed up for duty. In 1932, another nurse who worked in room 502 jumped from the balcony of the roof that, that leads from the room and was killed when she landed on with a spot on the ground. Several so stories below. So 502, I think it's really cursed. Here's the body she I think, no. I guess that's a patient. I don't know. Can't tell. I think it's a patient. Continuing on, the death tunnel on the body shirt is a 500 foot long tunnel that leads from the hospital to the railroad tracks. 
at the bottom of the hill. Originally, it was about to transfer produce to the hospital. However, as the disc as the disc continued to rise, the staff began using the death chute to transport bodies of the dead so that the other patients would not see how many corpses were leaving the hospital. Okay, that is a gross and insane. That's really gross and insane here, people. Stories of ghosts at Waverly's continue to surface and amazingly, most of them are akin to what others have experienced. Many have seen a little boy with his ball on the third floor. But many people also have seen a little girl playing with a little boy. But I don't see how that goes. Many people have witnessed shadow people and there has been a report of a woman running from the building with chains on bleeding from the wrists. She can help me, somebody help me. Or say me. Wow. We were those was tense back in the days. And one has got a good reputation for being haunted. Smart likes it. Pretty soon we're gonna be um hopefully when the coronavirus is over, we'll probably be going up to the Bellwitch Cave. I don't know if they will allow video cameras in, but I'm gonna see. Okay, now let's go to the video game that I have promised y'all guys. Okay guys, I am back. We are gonna play in the house too. So go find the first one that I found the house too. Tomorrow's gonna sell my lap and I'm gonna be kidding. Okay, let's go ahead and we're gonna play it. September 19, 1964. I can feel something strange in this house. I actually feel it since the first day I came to work here as a nursemaid. I am so afraid of that thing. Should I quit? Okay, let's go ahead and put this on. Look at the noise right here.
stupidest games I've ever played. I think I play. Sometimes she talked a lot, sometimes she left at night, and sometimes she called me somebody. She called somebody. Oh, there's a right here. Oh, there's your numbers. That's what it is.
be right back. Okay, I got it to go. My cat knocked my arm. So this is an adoption. Nicole A. Maddie. We uh we officially adopted I was officially adopted on this trip of uh, my team. Oh my god, 
that the key to the safe room. That's good because I'm going to need it. <laughs> No, 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 no. Okay, this is a pyramid of thin air, guys. This is really freaky. Ooh, oh, no, baby. Oh, oh. Just me since this. These two goons over here. <laughs> or scary enough to look at. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next video. Until then, see you next time. <laughs>